Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time, and in today's video we have a review on the Moyu Along GT. The Moyu Along GT is the third version of the Moyu Along. Coming after its brother, the Moyu Along version 2, these puzzles have very similar mechanisms, but the GT has squared off corners. It is also has a lot of resemblance with the Tang Long. So let's see how this puzzle compares against the other Moyu puzzles. This puzzle is available at Speed Cube Shop for $15.95. They were gracious enough to lube and tension this puzzle before I received it, but I lubed and tensioned it to my own preferences. It is the standard size of 57mm and is available in all the colors of the Moyu Tang Long, such as white, black, primary, blue, teal, pink, gray, and brown plastic. What is very surprising is that this puzzle does not come with the regular Moyu shades, yet it comes with like Shangshao Dian shades, which look absolutely terrible. The Moyu Along GT has a great feel. It's overall pretty smooth and algorithms go pretty nicely on this puzzle. It has a nice, clicky, yet buttery smooth feeling, not very similar to an Along version 2. And it is also very, very fast, which is its best quality by far. It is extremely fast. This cube I would compare more to the actual Tang Long than the Along version 2. The Tang Long has a more similar feel and about the same performance. The Along is just a little bit different and it feels not really similar to the GT. But overall, this puzzle does turn pretty nicely and I enjoy the feeling of it. Corner cutting, to be honest on this puzzle, is below average. It can't do 45 degrees and I have tried loosening and tightening this puzzle and I have it on a pretty tight tension and it just can't do it. Reverse cutting is up to par though at over a half a piece. During solves, this puzzle does have the 356 catches. It is kind of annoying. The M slices do work rather nicely on this puzzle, but when you go to the outer layers, it catches just like the GANS 356 did out of the box, which can be kind of annoying. When we take a look at this puzzle's mechanism, we find that it is almost identical to the Moyu Along version 2. Taking a look at the corners, the GT here has basically two differences. The hollowed out uh, base of the corner here is different, and the sharpened off corners, obviously. Overall, it's almost the same. There isn't a little indent here where there is on the uh, version 2, but they're almost the exact same. The edge pieces have basically no difference. They're almost exactly the same, except obviously this one isn't split down the middle. And this one, as you can see right here, has holes on each one of these torpedoes here, while this one does not. Overall, the mechanisms of these puzzles are very, very similar, but I think the catches occur from, obviously, the corners catching on the centers, which happens on some of the puzzles that have sharpened off corners. So the Moyu Along GT is overall a pretty great cube. Despite its catches, it doesn't lock up that much during solves, enough that it's not a major problem. I get my normal times on this puzzle, and I really still enjoy solving it, but I don't think it's for me, but it's definitely for someone. If you like a light, fast cube, uh, this is definitely the one for you. It has great turning, a great feeling, and great speed. The price is pretty reasonable for what it is. The only thing that I can be mad about with this puzzle are the terrible sticker shades and the slight catches. But overall, it's pretty nice. So I definitely recommend it. And my final grade for this puzzle is an A. I don't think it's the best Moyu product on the market, but it's definitely up there. I still prefer the Tang Long over this cube, but who knows, I do change my mains around a lot, and this puzzle does have a pretty good chance of being it, maybe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Moyu Along GT. Comment what other cubes you want me to review next on my channel, and what else you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.